Hello and welcome to a mini review with me, Dan Dan the Batman. So today we're just going to be reviewing the latest movie what's come out, which is, or one of the latest movies that have come out, which is, of course, Legend. And if you don't know what Legend's about, it's basically a crime thriller film, which is based on a book called The Profession of Violence, The Rise and Fall of the Cray Twins. And this film, in the name, it's basically about the Cray twins, how they like rose to power and then fell, and like it shows their relationship and you know the stuff they got up to when they were in when they were gangsters. Now this film contains many stars, uh, some you will recognise. Obviously, Tom Hardy plays the main. Well, he plays both of the Grey Twins very well, if I may add. He captures them very well. Uh, you've got people like Christopher Eccleston playing the police officer, or the, or the chief police officer. And that's all I'm going to say, um, because there's many more people along the way who are in it. Um, this was quite a shock, actually, when I found out they were doing another Grey film. Because, obviously, when people think of the Grey or a film about the craze, they always think of the old 90s one, the 1990 film, which I do like, by the way. Uh, let me know if you like it too. Um, but when I saw the trailer for it, I thought, yeah, yeah it looks good. It, it, I was interested to in see how they would capture Tom Hardy as both the twins, because obviously Tom Hardy plays both of them, as I've mentioned. And um, I was a little bit... I don't know, I thought it might not look very good, but actually it looks like they're they're both there together, which when you in some films you don't get that. Like if you take I mean obviously this was bear in mind this is like nearly twenty years ago this film. Probably over twenty years. You see excuse me. You see uh Forrest Gump with historical people like jfk and all that and the footage doesn't look as good and i thought it was going to be a little bit like that but actually when you watch it it's really 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 cleverly done uh, the acting was excellent i thought there was only one cast member who i thought wasn't as good as what she could have been and that was uh what was her name the late uh, the crazed mum i can't remember her name i thought she she didn't have the presence which the 1990 version had uh, but she looked the part don't get me wrong she looked the part she did look a little bit similar to the lady you played during the original version uh, which was either a nice nod or something uh, but she, yeah she did look like her and also the character of francis um who's obviously is it uh what's it reggie's girlfriend and wife and i thought she was really really good uh, i thought that the lady who played her emily browning she did a very good job and i thought she handled some of the most serious parts in the film very very well um, which I won't go into, but she she was really good. Uh, her mum. Now this is a thing which I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but when I went to go and see the film with my dad, he said to me the mum looks like the lady out of the original Cray film. When I said the lady, I mean the original Francis who was in the the nineteen ninety film, and I haven't found any sources or anything like say if she was in that film so if you know let me know in the comment section below um so obviously this film had a lot of cameos from people some people weren't even in it much they just had quick cameos uh but i really really did enjoy it i thought it, it's on for over i think it's over yeah just over two hours doesn't feel it at all doesn't feel it at all i've watched recently i've watched quite a few like films that are two hours and some of them i've been a drag to get through but this was completely different you were 
it was one of those sort of films where you just felt sucked in, which I love those sort of films. Like, I liked, um, it's a bit like Aliens, I think, because of the atmosphere, you, you're in there, you're, you feel like you're actually there. And a bit like, I know it's a completely different genre, but The Age of Ultron, The Avengers, or The Avengers Age of Ultron, I felt a bit like that. Like with this film, I felt that I was actually there when the action was going on. Which I liked, I love, and I really, I mean, I can't stress this, stress this enough. Everyone must go and see this film, because this film deserves to be watched, and possibly get on DVD, Blu-ray, or what have you, because I think it's a very good piece of movie history there, because obviously, like, I know they're doing remakes and all and all those sort of things like they you know they're remaking nightmare on elm street again even though it's been remade but this is what i call a reimagining a bit like john carpenter's the thing completely different genre but you get my point it's a reimagining you've got new things added in stuff you probably didn't even know about i mean i didn't know much about the craze until i watched the original version and i thought it would be the same sort of thing in this movie which it sort of is and it sort of isn't but don't let that put you off watching the film. You need to watch it. It's, it's so good. Uh, it's rated 18. Because uh, it's got a lot of strong violence and things in it. Uh, so if you can try and watch it either at the cinema. Or watch it on DVD, Netflix or what have you. Please, please do go and watch it. Uh, overall, I'm going to give this a... Hmm... Out of 10, I'll probably give it 8 out of 10. And in terms of blockbuster stars, which I give films, I'd say about 4.5. I think the only thing which could have been improved could have been the lady who played the crazed mum. Of the acting, don't get me wrong, she did a very good job. I'm not saying she was bad or bland or anything like that. She was very good. I just felt that maybe her acting could have been a little bit better had the same sort of atmosphere what the the lady who played the mum in the original one had. Uh, she sort of, I know this is a completely different, like, sort of, like, sort of, uh, subject, but she sort of, the, the lady in the original, original one reminded me of Peggy Mitchell's character in the EastEnders. I know that's completely weird to say, but... You've got that sort of in... Well, obviously she's not in EastEnders anymore. But, like, with her... Bro not her brothers. Her sons, when they got to all that trouble, she half the stuff she doesn't realise what they're doing. And this is a bit like in The Craze, or in the original one. Um, which you'll see. And it, it just shows, like, how much... Like, they did all that stuff. And then you... They never told their pet. Well, you wouldn't tell your parents if you did that, would you? Uh, because that was, that was just horrible. You don't really want to, you know, say to your mum, oh, yeah, I went down to the pub and shot someone, would you? Uh, but please, please do check out the movie. I went a bit off track there. I do apologise. Um, I think Tom Hardy, before we close, I just want to say, Tom Hardy, you deserve an Oscar. And I'm not just saying that you deserve an Oscar because when I first saw the posters for Legend, I thought, I don't know, he, he probably will play them the exact same, you know, the exact same sort of, he have that sort of same personality. But they're both completely different people. Even though they were gangsters, they were still different people. And um, I think Tom Hardy, if you're listening to this, which I doubt, Probably you're not, but if you are listening to this, please, you need to get an Oscar. I'm just saying that you need to get an Oscar because you're cool. You're brilliant in all your other films. This year you were good in Mad Max. They, you, that was a good film. So if you are watching Tom Hardy or anyone who's worked with Tom Hardy, say to him, you need an Oscar for that role. Anyway, that's enough of me blabbing on. Uh, thank you very much for listening to this little mini review. If you like these sort of mini reviews, Please do post below, and if there's any other movies you'd like me to watch and review, please post below, and also keep on posting your questions for my Q&A, 
which will be coming soon but i need to get some more questions in so if you've been watching me for the last three years please keep on posting your questions below or private message me or on the discussion discussion i can't get words out if you post on the discussion page you can find some more questions there or you can post your questions there so thanks for watching feel free to comment like and subscribe to my channel hope to see you soon bye guys